Welcome to Center Service, everyone. Let us pray. God of grace, you have given us minds to know you, hearts to love you, and voices to sing your praise. Fill us with your spirit that we may celebrate your glory and worship you in spirit and truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please join in singing verses 1 and 2 of Beautiful Savior, number 838 in your hymn books. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The psalm for today is Psalm 100. Please read responsively with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. 
it is God who made us to whom we belong. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Good indeed is the Lord, whose steadfast love is everlasting, and whose faithfulness endures to all generations. Let us pray. Our Lord and God, we come before you with thanksgiving and praise, for you have created us as your people, and you sustain us with your hand. Nourish us in your rich pasture, and keep us in your steadfast love that we may bless your name and serve you with goodness day after day. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please sing verses three and four of Beautiful Savior. Readings from 2 Samuel, chapter 6, 1 through 5, and 12 through 19. The Ark of the Covenant, a long, long as symbol of God's presence with Israel, is brought into Jerusalem by David. The entrance of the Ark into this new capital city is marked by a great rejoicing, and David himself is the chief dancer. David again gathered all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. David and all the people with him set out and went from Baal Judah to bring up from there the Ark of God, which is called by the name of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned on the cherubim. They carried the Ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinabad, which was on the hill. Uzzah and Ahio the sons of Abinabad were driving the new cart with the Ark of God, and Ahio went in front of the Ark. David and all the house of Israel were dancing before the Lord with all their might, with songs and lyres and harps and tambourines and castanets and cymbals. So David went and brought up the Ark of God from the house of Obedidim to the city of David with rejoicing. And when those who bore the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a fatling. David danced before the Lord with all his might. David was girded with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. As the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, daughter of Saul, looked out of the window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord 
and she despised him in her heart. They brought in the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and offerings of well-being before the Lord. When David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the offerings of well-being, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts and distributed food among all the people, the whole multitude of Israel, both men and women, to each a cake of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. Then all the people went back to their homes. The word of the Lord. I speak to God. The next hymn will be in the hymn book 617. We come to you for healing, Lord, verse 1. Second is a reading from Ephesians chapter 1, 3 through 14. All of God's plans and purposes have been made known in Jesus as heaven and earth are united in him. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ we have also obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things, according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll continue hymn 617 with verse 2 and 3.
please rise as you're able for the reading of the gospel. As Jesus and his disciples begin to attract attention, Mark recalls the story of John the Baptist's martyrdom. Like John, Jesus and his disciples will also suffer at the hands of those opposed to the gospel of salvation. Hear now the gospel according to Mark chapter 6. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard of the disciples preaching, for Jesus' name has become known. Some were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead, and for this reason, these powers are at work in him. But others said, it is Elijah. And others said, it is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself has sent men who arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When he, when he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and for the leaders of Galilee. When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, Whatever he asked me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What should I ask for? She replied, The head of John the baptizer. Immediately she rushed back to the king and requested, I want you to give me at once the head of John the baptizer on a platter. The king was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately, the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in, in the prison, brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When the disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in the tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please continue in singing the hymn 617, We Come to You for Healing, Lord, verses 4 and 5. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember 
your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to, to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet to the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please continue in singing hymn number 836, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, verse number one. Joyful, joyful, we Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord, who makes every day new. Especially, we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church, and for other thanksgiving we now name in our hearts or allow. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord, especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who strive to save the earth from careless destruction, for the church of Jesus Christ in every land, and for those in need, whose names we speak now in our hearts or aloud. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Please sing verses 2 and 3 of Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee.
As many have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Alleluia. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, the women came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found a stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? Remember how he told you while he was in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners to be crucified and on the third day rise again? Alleluia! Christ is risen! Alleluia! O God, for our redemption, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross, and by his glorious resurrection, you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin so that we may rise to live with Christ forever, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, bless us and direct our days and deeds with praise. Amen. This concludes our service today. Please share a greeting of peace.